When an egg is laid by a poultry bed, the vagina evacs through the clocker to deliver the egg. Once there is an injury to the vagina, either as a result of large or double yolk egg, or maybe due to abdominal fat, the bed's vagina may not retract immediately, and this makes it to be exposed for a while. Because of the reddish nature, it becomes attractive to other beds and they peck on it, leading to bleeding from the vent. Consequently, the vagina becomes swollen and unable to retract, and this becomes prolapse. On this video, I'm going to explain causes of prolapse, how to identify it easily, how to prevent and control it. Please stay tuned and subscribe. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Love. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Love. I sincerely appreciate all my old and new subscribers and viewers that are yet to subscribe. Please kindly click the subscribe button, click the bell icon so that you don't miss subsequent upload. Also give this video a like, comment and most importantly share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. First, let's deal with the causes of prolapse. There are numerous causes but I will take my time to explain as much as I could so that you can trace the cause and provide the best remedy either through herbal or use of synthetic drugs. The first cause I want to discuss about is incorrect prenatal management or nutritional changes before the bed starts to lay eggs. In this case, there is poor development of skeletal system leading to poorly developed pelvic girdle. You can still have or meet up the body weight during production, but poor skeletal development will lead to prolapse. Overweight beds are mostly linked to have prolapse as a result of muscle weakness and tendency to lay larger eggs will make the clocker to protrude out, leading to prolapse. This overweight is associated with too much fat around the reproductive organs, thereby increasing the risk of prolapse in your beds. Let me explain it in details for you. When there is buildup of fat around the hen's abdominal region, this leads to a narrow passage for the egg. Because the hen needs to lay egg, she has to strain herself by pushing the egg out and it's most likely going to lead to prolapse. One other point is that if the hen is too young and underdeveloped and already started laying, there is every possibility of occurrence of prolapse. Now, let me share with you how feed can cause prolapse to your beds, most especially on balanced feed ration. Calcium deficiency in the diet can cause challenges with egg shell formation, which can lead to low muscle tone. While there is soft shell eggs laid, this causes the hen to strain too hard and can lead to prolapse. When the hen is straining herself to push out these soft shell eggs, oversized, large or double yolk egg, the inner lining of the cloaker is exposed more than usual and this can cause prolapse as well. Another cause of prolapse is when the sphincter muscles around the vent are weak. It makes it difficult to retract the oviduct back into the body and this increases the time the oviduct is exposed and there are higher chances of prolapse in such cases. One secret tip I want to share with you before I go further is when is prolapse likely to occur. Generally, in laying beds, prolapse is more common during the peak of production period where much demand is placed on beds' metabolism. The big question now is how do you identify a prolapse bed? It's quite very simple. The first sign of prolapse is blood streaked egg. Once you notice any egg that is blood stained, no matter how small, that is a pointer to prolapse and it should be looked into and proper management procedure should be followed. A bed with prolapse is very easy to identify as there is a noticeable bulging out around the vent. Blood is also noticed around the vent feathers and if the bed is not alone, you will see the beak of other beds with blood stain. Since we know the various causes of prolapse, how then can we treat it? But before then, let me give you a secret. Always ensure to notify your farm attendants no matter how tiny a blood is on the on the egg, they should check to see. And if that bed is having prolapse, they should remove it immediately. Since we now know the various causes of prolapse, how then can we treat it? The first step is to isolate the bed from others. The vent can then be sprayed with oxytetravet. Try to push the vent back with hand. You can apply hydrocortisone, which is an anti-inflammatory cream, on the vent after cleaning. Once noticed, Administering water with vitamin C at 1 gram per liter might help. Then, giving electrolyte will also aid full recovery. The best that is isolated due to prolapse should be given less hour of light. To discourage egg laying 
and give her oviduct time to rest. The fat level in feed should be reduced. Reduction in feed can also help to an extent. How do we prevent it? The best way to prevent prolapse is careful and attentive management. In pullets, their nutrition and light management is very important and the beak of the bed should be debeaked and balanced feed ration provided. If your pullets come into laying too early, they will be more susceptible to prolapse and also lay smaller eggs throughout the production cycle. Here is one very important tip I want to share with you. Giving liquid calcium to prolapse bed helps to restore the ability of the uterus muscles to contract properly. The last and herbal remedy for prolapse is to feed leafy vegetables as they help with absorption of calcium into the body. Giving a tablespoon of cold liver oil over a week will also help. And lastly, do not overfeed your hen as prolapse are more common in overweight hens. Please subscribe, like, comment and share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.